Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use your computer as a router so that you can hook up with your Xbox through it and be able to play Xbox Live wirelessly even though you don't have to buy that stupid $100 wireless adapter. Now, I go to a SUNY Cobol skip, which is a college up in up upstate New York, and they think they're smart, so they cut the Ethernet uh, wires basically to the dorm room so that no one can go on PSN or Xbox Live. So what I did is I used an Ethernet cable and I hooked my Xbox to my PC. Now, what you have to do in order for the Xbox to be able to get the internet through your PC is you have to bridge the connection, <clears throat> which is what I'm going to show you how to do. First, you go to your start menu, go to control panel, go to network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings. Okay, now you should see local area connection on an unidentified network, and then you should see whatever wireless you have. What you do is you just glide, drag a box around the two, right click, bridge connections. Okay, at first it's going to come up with an X on it, but don't worry, it's just establishing the bridge. It'll take a few moments. Okay, now that it's bridged, you should be able to hook up to Xbox Live. Now, what I have found that when you first try to hook up to Xbox Live, it says it does not go through. Just test the connection. It will say that you are hooked up to Live, and then you can log on normally. The only one, one thing is, depending on how many people are using the network, uh, the slower it will be. So, try if you're in college like me, try going on when no one else is using their computer. Okay, I hope it was helpful. Bye.